This is Irwin for SwirlingOverCoffee.com and this is our unboxing and first thoughts video on the 5.5 inch version of the Zenfone 3. Uh, what model is this? Let's see. ZE552KL. Okay, Let's see what's inside the box. There's the box and there's the phone. If you remember the previous Zen phones had this plastic slightly chunky body uh, curves in your hand uh, curves in your hand this one doesn't it's flat uh, it's the first all metal phone of Asus mid-range upper mid-range specs still within mid-range pricing 899 18995 but the specs are great and the build quality is amazing Corners are rounded, edge, so are the edges. Okay, let's go around the phone quickly. Type-C charger, speaker. This is the sapphire black version, by the way. Power button, volume rocker. Capacitive keys are still not backlit, but they're less noticeable now because the bezels are thinner compared to last year. SIM card and micro SD tray here it's a, it takes in dual nano sims one of the sims can take in a micro SD so either you get you use both trays for a sim card or just one and then one for external extra storage the storage capacity of the Zenfone 3 is 64 gig um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there not much else sapphire black fingerprint scanner uh, real quick rundown of the specs before we boot it up 5.5 uh, inch full HD IPS LCD display uh, I might as well boot it up while I'm going through these specs 401 ppi 2.5 D curved glass Corning Gorilla Glass 4 if you touch it on the edges it curves slightly there's yeah really nice to hold there's a touching the glass and even the rear it feels really nice to hold you know it's premium but the price and the specs aren't so uh, super premium uh, I have to confess this is not the first boot the first time I got this on the bus ride on the way home I booted it up and installed all the apps I wanted okay well that's booting we'll continue with the specs and go through what's inside the box it's got <coughs> sorry 2.0 gigahertz octa core qualcomm snapdragon a two a 625 processor 4 gigs of ram adreno 506 graphics so games are going to be great here and the storage expansion can take in more than 128 gigs if you can find a micro sd of that capacity rear camera 16 megapixels 8 megapixel front camera and there's the Zen UI right there and all the games and apps cleaner look yep there's a noticeable haptic feedback when you press on the capacitive keys right there very clean looking UI of course we'll go through the the usual test in the full video uh, full review and my notifications are kicking in let's go through what's inside the box oh by the way uh asus mentioned that the their rear camera features uh, four axis optical image stabilization so you get better low light pictures less shaky shots and three x three axis eis uh, at stabilization on the software side 3000 mAh battery with fast charging so there's a fast charger here but it's type C so your old uh, USB OTG 
flash drives won't work here. You need something like, ta-da, like this. This is the Transcend 890S USB 3.1. And the other end is, removing the cap, is a Type-C mail adapter. So it goes in right there. I'm not going to put it in. I have a separate review of this on the blog. You can visit it right there. Let's just go through what else is inside the box. Very nice arrangement and contents. Fast charger. I hope you can see it right there. There's a marking there. A source up, upside down. Very nice looking. Earphones with extra ear tips, all white. I would have wanted black, but this looks elegant. And Type-C charging cable and the usual pamphlets. Mm, where is There. Look at that. There's a SIM tray popper here with an Asus branding mark, which looks really nice. Pamphlets, which everyone reads, including you. I'm going to close that up, put that back in. Hmm. Okay, get back. If you remember the old, the previous Zen phones with their, with where the box has to be pulled out like that, that design is gone. Okay. It's really the build that you notice. Gone are the plastic approach, chunky plastic design. This really looks nice, and as you can see, the viewing angles are excellent. In the full review, we'll show you how it performs in multitasking. I'm going to play a lot of graphic-heavy games, take some pictures, do some benchmarks, and get back to you with the full review. This has been Irwin for SwirlingOverCoffee.com. Very nice phone. The Asus Zenfone 3 5.5-inch version. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.